is a beautiful day and I'm just getting my day officially started. We're about to go run some errands. So let's go. Hey boss babes, welcome back to another Vlogmas. This is officially day five for me. I took a break from vlogging yesterday. We did a break, but today we are about to go run some important errands and get Christmas ready. These or these. This is maximum true. I'm gonna go with these. Found it. Look how cute all of these are. Like I don't even know what I would put in here. They're so freaking cute. Like it's some good stuff. And then look at this for like the honey. It's so cute. I'm trying to do like hot chocolate, right? I want to do a hot chocolate, um, just have hot chocolate because I love hot chocolate, right? I don't support Starbucks. I keep seeing this one, this dark chocolate, and I like dark chocolate. So I'm thinking I should just get this one. It says it's $4.99. What does this one say? Oh, okay, that was $4.99 as well. They have a lot of teas too. Y'all know I love tea. This is chocolate chocolate. I don't know about that one. Gluten free. So this one's like organic. Okay. That's an option. This one is peppermint. Then there's one that says chocolate truffle back here. I think we might try this one. We're gonna go with this one, y'all. $4.99 child please y'all need to give me that discount I'm about to ask her so cute. It's a hand finished peppermint topper, dark and white chocolate peppermint oil. Mm. That might be good to go inside of my hot chocolate. Alright, I think we found everything we need in this so I just got back from TJ Maxx. They're being real fancy this holiday season. They gave these bags out. So I got some goodies, some things I needed for my crib as well. Um, so let's start with the big item. So this is how I've always organized my makeup. My makeup does sit out on the counter in my bathroom. Since I moved, it's been in like a travel bag, but I like this organizer because I can see where everything is. Um, I was like, maybe eventually I might put it underneath the counter, but who wants to have to keep like bending up and down? So I think 
this will probably just sit out on my bathroom counter and I can put everything in here. So let me open it so y'all can see the vibes. So it has like a big, two big drawers at the bottom. And I like these because I can put like, you know, my foundations, all that, all my lip pencils, just everything. So this is actually a really good one because ones I've had in the past didn't quite look like this. So yeah, I really like this one. I like it a lot. So that's that. Now the other items I got are, I got this exfoliating body glove. It's, I can tell this is super exfoliating. Like I can just feel it. Baby, my shower tonight is about to be amazing. I'm gonna get in there and scrub a dub dub. Then I have been looking everywhere for a cocktail shaker that was like the glass at the bottom. They had this one and a gold one. The gold one was more, but I just feel like all that gold stuff is gonna fade like when you wash it. So this one was perfect, okay? Because I haven't been making any drinks since I lived at this apartment. But this is exactly what I have been looking for. Super aesthetic, it's just super cute and chic. Then it has the removable mixer. Then the bottom is the glass. This one is 17 fluid ounces. So, you know, perfect. But yeah, I really miss making my drinks. This is so perfect. So I'm excited about this. Like, I just stumbled upon this and I was like, uh, really? And this was $9.99. Um, next thing I got was the hot chocolate mix. She said the other one was labeled wrong, so it really was $4.99, but that's totally fine. This one is hot chocolate and truffle. It smells, are you freaking, oh, sorry, y'all. I thought, cause, I, it's, <laughs> cause it said hot chocolate at the bottom, I thought it wasn't the truffle one, but it is. So it's the chocolate truffle. So I'm super excited, this is organic. Well no, I'm sorry, this is not organic. It's non-GMO verified gluten-free. So that's cool, but we're gonna have some delicious hot chocolate. Then I got these Christmas cards because I do wanna mail out cards to everyone in my family. So I'm gonna get these mailed out next week. This is a pack of 16 for $4.99. Then of course I got the melatonin gummies because I feel like I needed these. And I just got some washcloths because I needed some more. So yeah, that's everything I got from Home Goods. And yeah. My tree should be here today, according to Amazon. Um so yeah. I went to Home Goods because I really, really, really want to wash my makeup brushes. That was my goal to get that accomplished today. But they didn't have like the little silicone mat that has like the little bristles on it that you rub your brushes against. So I just got one off of Amazon. It was $4.99. And I finally ordered my coupe martini glasses. So baby, we about to be making some holiday drinks. I'm about to be making my lemon drops again, making my lychee martinis, my mocktails, all of that. Just want to set the vibes. So I'm super excited for that, but I will check back in with you all a little bit later. I don't know what I'm about to do. Um, it said my tree was gonna be here in a certain time frame. So if the tree comes at a good time today, we'll put it up together. Um, yeah, but I'm hungry. I wanna go get some food. So we're about to see where the day takes us. So it is much later. I decided that I'm gonna return that clear box for my makeup because I don't want my makeup sitting out on my countertop. Like I've done that before and I just feel like I want my bathroom to be very, very minimalist. And I'm still, you know, in the process of decorating and I wanna change some things that I have going on, oh, excuse me, in my bathroom right now. So I'm taking that back. I just have my makeup in like this big bag right now and I don't like that either, but I need something that's gonna house my makeup but still be like compact and something that I can tuck away. So that's where we are with that. Um, I'm charging my phone right now because I always let my phone get, battery get so damn low, but I wanna go to Target because I wanna get some little things I can just put in the kitchen for like Christmas stuff. I don't know what's making that noise. Oh. So I wanna get like some little items I can put in my kitchen. 
Um, and I want to get some Christmas mugs. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because y'all know I want to make this hot chocolate real bad. Real, real, real bad. Oh, yeah, and then I want to make a drink probably sometime this weekend or this week, next week. So I'm looking for these little gingerbread cookies um, to put for the drinks or whatever. And, yeah. So... Going to tar Target brings me joy, and that's what I want to do. I need some joy in my life, and I want some more Christmas pajamas too, so. But somebody calling the girl. I'll be right back. Hey boss babes, it is much later. I just got back home from a hell date. Yes, a hell date, and I just want to tell y'all about it. Um, so the guy's older, like an older Nigerian guy, and um, first date, first time ever hanging out, right? He wanted to go to some place called Bombshells, which was on Highway 6. That was like 17, 18 minutes from my house. I wasn't doing it. So I was like, okay, do you want to Uber me there? And my thing is like, I don't like texting a lot when I first get to know you. I just feel like if you want to keep texting, the communication is just never going, it's never going to be there. I am a talker, a conversationalist, a face-to-facer. Long story short, gets to my house and um, I was already annoyed because he was in this old beat up white Camry that just sound like like the wheels were rocking on the axle because sometimes I'd be in Ubers like that and the car just be all rocking. So I Googled a place to go to. We pulled up to the place. He missed the turn the first time. Let me back up. This is the crucial part of the story where I should have gotten out the car. So he was asking me something about like why didn't I know a lot of places in Houston because he was like, well, if you work from home, you have all the time on your hands. I said, all the time on my hands. I was like, you know, I work. I'm like, I'm always busy. You know, being an entrepreneur and someone who works for themselves, you know, I set my own hours, but I all, all, there's always something that I need to be doing, you know? Just also too, you know, I just moved here. I don't have the luxury of just going to all these places all the time. I'm trying to get acclimated to Houston. So I'm like, you know, kind of explaining this. And then we are literally like at a stop sign that's like a corner from my house. And I was like, so he cut me off. So I felt like he was very demeaning and very, very condescending. It's like, damn, so you feel like I don't have like a real job or whatever. Mind you, his dumb ass don't even really understand what a social media content creator is. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so that was the first thing that pissed me off. So when we were at the traffic light, I was going to really say, you know what? just drop me off like let me just get out the car because i could have just walked down the sidewalk back to my house so we pull up to the place eventually after he misses the turn and um the place is like some black owned restaurant the food looked really really good on um on like yelp and like just like google but when we pulled up it looked like it was closed and you can kind of look in there a little bit it was really really dark but it looked like it was like four or five people in there i was like you know what i don't want to go there and i was already kind of annoyed because i just feel like knowing me dating already gives me anxiety i've already talked about this before i just always feel like men are just never going to give me a good date you know from a woman who does a lot for herself and who does a lot on a regular basis, when a guy says some shit like, oh, let's go to Bombshell, Google Bombshell in Houston. It's like a, a Hooters type of place. Like, why would you want to take, take me there? You know what I'm saying? So we pick another place to go to. Um, it was, I just Google like, like upscale sports bars, but it wasn't upscale at all. It was nobody in there. The menu was really blah. So we were still like, you know, talking in the car and he was still being very condescending because I was like trying to explain to him, you know, what I did for work. In Nigeria, I know people call it brand ambassador because I was just trying to find like, you know, a little familiarity between the two because he was acting like he didn't understand. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he was like, you all don't call it brand ambassador. I said, well, you know, it's like content creator, social media influencer, you know, whatever. I honestly do not like talking about what I do for work because 
unfortunately some people feel like it is not a real job and then i just feel like when you're trying to act dumb or maybe you just might be totally ignorant that you just really have no idea on what a social media content creator does you know i feel like i have to educate you but it's just certain settings where i don't want to have to explain that i don't really like talking about myself for one it just makes me feel just very anxious and i start stuttering and stumbling over my words and who got who got time for that not me so we pull up to the place there's nobody in there and he's like making little comments about the place and i'm like well this is like the place bombshell that you wanted to go to sorry y'all i'm like playing around with this so i was like you know this is kind of like the, the place bombshell that you wanted to go to or whatever so we sit down we are at the bar and um it's only like, it's these two girls at the bar. It's like a couple at a booth. I think like two other people in the bar. It's nobody in there. And I was just already feeling awkward. And I didn't have this on. I had on like a white long sleeve shirt, a cardigan, jeans, and my Uggs. And I am so happy I wore that. And I'm even mad that I put on makeup. Like this makeup took me all of five minutes. But still, he didn't even deserve that. So, okay. He's already pissed me off about kind of dismissing, you know, what I do for work alluding that I don't have a real job so I have all this time in the world to do whatever then we get to the restaurant then he's on his phone or whatever and then he's like oh someone's texting me asking me for asking me for money and he's trying to show me the text message so I'm sitting here thinking in my head like is he trying to say that like he needs to leave or something because if that's the case baby I'm gonna call over right now like I could be out and I was already texting my homegirl and my homeboy. I'm like, yo, I'm on this horrible date. I think I should just call an Uber and leave. I don't care about no food, no drink. So he's over there texting. And then he calls the guy. And the guy was like, oh, yeah, my WhatsApp is hacked. The person who's texting you, asking you for 500,000 Naira, that's not me. So the guy's entertaining. He's like, oh, the person wants to play stupid. I'm going to play stupid too. So he was going back and forth, back and forth. The waitress kept asking us, like, you know, do you guys want something to drink? I said, you know what? Give me a lemon drop with Don Julio. And I asked him, I was like, hey, do you want something to drink? He's not even really trying to like scan the QR code to get the menu, nothing. So I had ordered my food. I'm like, do you want something to eat? So then, you know, he finally orders food after he gets done dealing with this stupid text message drama. Whole time in my head, I'm thinking of my escape route, okay? And I hate that it really had to come to that, but it's just like, I didn't feel comfortable no more. Like, and maybe I might get my karma for skedad let me finish the story so we're just talking 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 and then he was just asking me he asked me like maybe five different variations of why don't you have a boyfriend or and stuff like that so i said listen if i had a if i had a boyfriend do you really think i'll be on a date with you and then he started laughing i was like <laughs> yeah like i said if i had a boyfriend i probably would not have would not have even moved to houston and so he was talking was saying that he was married he got divorced four years ago we were just like you know talking so i came to the conclusion that he has a very primitive just very rigid strict state of mind you know nothing that i was going to say was going to like not going to say impress him but it's just he found something wrong with everything that i said and the thing with me is that I am a very vocal and opinionated woman. And for a guy who really wants to be, who has that type of very old school mindset, it's, it's not going to work, especially when there's a lot of cultural differences. Now, I have dated Nigerian men for like the past six to seven years, primarily Nigerian men. And we'll get into a whole other story about why I choose to date Nigerian men and just why I do. But he's one of those ones that you call a primitive Nigerian. My ex from 2019, that's what he called himself, a primitive Nigerian. Like, just old school thinking. And I asked him, I was just like, you know, was your ex-wife, was she Nigerian? And he was like, yeah. And then he started talking about, oh, well, I have friends who, date, who married whites, who married black Americans, blah, blah, blah. But my thing is just that I want to be with somebody who I can at least have some type of common ground, some type of familiar with it's just like he was just so fucking old and stupid and i've dated men who are his age and they are just very aware culturally so it just wasn't gonna work from the way he was dressed to the way he was talking then he was talking about taking a trip somewhere this weekend we can just go for like two or three days and whatever this place was like texan 
Texacana, Texan sauce, I don't know, some place. He said it was a five and a half hour drive away. Nigga, do you think I would be in a car with you for five and a half hours? I don't even wanna be on this date. And this date has only been going on for like 20, 25 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and then the other thing too, I had asked him, I was, or like before we had met up, or he came to get me, I had asked him, I was like, no, I said, I only really kind of go to like hookah lounges and things like that. He said, what is a hookah? So then he mentioned it again, we were in the car, and he was like, is that like Indian hemp? I was like, you know what, don't, don't worry about it. Let's, let's just go. So I, I was like, okay, you know. Oh yeah, then he was, he ordered a Coca-Cola, then he put like a napkin over his drink. And I was like, why are you doing that? There's like nobody in here. So that was annoying for one. So I was like, I'm about to go to the restroom real quick. I put a napkin over my food and I'm in the bathroom. This girl was in there taking selfies and I felt bad. I was like, girl, I'm in the way. She said, no, 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 it's okay. And I'm just trying to think of my escape. Oh, hold on. I called an Uber before I went to the bathroom and I text the Uber. I said, Can, when you pick me up, come to the back parking lot. So then the Uber kept saying he was two minutes away and I was like, okay, I don't wanna you know, be in the bathroom for such a long time because it's not even anybody in here for the bathroom to look like I mean, for me to be in the bathroom for a long time. So I went back out to where he was, and I think I took a bite of my food. And I said, hey, my mom keeps trying to call me, and then the Uber driver called me. So, perfect timing, and I left. And I blocked him, and I sent him a text while he was blocked, um, basically just saying, this wasn't gonna work. Enjoy your burger. And he was eating his burger with a fork, like, and cutting it in little triangles. I was turned off and do I feel bad about leaving the date like that I honestly don't because I couldn't endure it like I really couldn't endure it and I know you all or some of you all are gonna be like why did you leave without telling him that is so mean that's so rude but my flight or fight instincts kicked in he was just so condescending and I just never felt so belittled oh yeah then he asked me he was like, so what do you think of me? I said, I think you're very rigid. I was like, you keep asking me a lot of questions, you know, about why am I single and about marriage and things like that. And I had told him earlier, I was like, you know, I don't centerize men in my life. And he was like, oh, I thought that you were, you know, looking to be in a relationship. And I was like, yeah, but I first want to have a genuine connection with someone where that can even lead to somewhere romantic. People in this society just get so focused on boyfriend, girlfriend, marriage, but it's like, we got a, a lot of work to do before we even get to that. But I'm just really mad that I went on this date because I was going to go to Target earlier and get some Christmas mugs and little decorations for my kitchen. But the only good thing that happened is my new Christmas tree is here. And because I'm in that mood, I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox her. I hope the tree comes out good because baby it's December 12th like I don't have time to be trying to order another tree because at that point we just ain't gonna have a tree so that's my story time but let me know what y'all think in the comments babes because was I wrong I don't even need to ask y'all if I was wrong because I, I definitely was wrong to an, an extent but just you know give me your thoughts your your honest thoughts and opinions because I know my boss babes ain't gonna hold back but let's go ahead and get this tree unboxed. Extremely important. Would you please tell them that instead of presents this year, I just want my family back. No Tories, nothing but Peter, Kate, Buzz, Megan, Lenny, and Jeff. And my aunt and my cousins. And if he has time, my uncle Frank. Okay?
All right, sorry y'all, my camera died and I was on the phone with my mom. <sighs> I feel so much better now that the tree is done. Um, I bought too much stuff, but also not too much. Well, I did. And I bought this ribbon and I didn't know that you had to buy wired ribbon for the tree but I didn't use the ribbon. I just used all of the ornaments. I wanted to keep my tree very simple and I think if I would have used the ribbon, it would have made it a little tradish, which is what I didn't want. Without further ado, here's the tree. Hope you all love it. skinny tree <laughs> I don't know if that music is copyright free or no nah, but um I was on the phone with my mom the whole time I was like decorating the tree and it came out very beautiful um this is honestly my I think this is my second tree in my life. I had my last apartment in Atlanta, I didn't do a tree, but my first apartment in Atlanta, I did this very little tree. Um, it was pink and yeah. But this tree is cute, it fits my aesthetic. I didn't want nothing too crazy. I don't even want anything at the top of the tree. And I saved all the packaging for the tree, all the ornaments, cause all this shit is going back but anyways tomorrow i'm gonna try to find a base for the tree yeah we're gonna find a base for the tree tomorrow or it's just something to cover up that bottom portion because that's real ghetto and yeah it's really really beautiful the lights make like all the clear and everything just sparkle more but I definitely could have did a bigger tree, but when you do a bigger tree, that means you have to buy more ornaments. So I love my little minimalistic black tree. So chic and I feel better knowing that there's a tree in this house, a little bit more in the spirit. So today has definitely been eventful. It's really late. Um, I know I want to edit. I need to do a copyright music test on all of my vlogmas music because that was the issue i was running into yesterday that's why that vlog went out so late so i definitely want to have the vlogs coming out like you know before 7 p.m um that's the goal so tomorrow we're gonna go to target and go back to home goods to do some returns y'all bought these hand cloths like i mean some washcloths why one of them had a huge huge snag in it and that's no bueno so i'm taking those two items back to home goods tomorrow or that was tj maxx and then we're gonna go to target and that's all i have planned for tomorrow oh tomorrow i need to also wash my makeup brushes so yeah because yeah but um I'm about to call it a night and if you all have gotten this far in the video and you are not subscribed what is you doing Subscribe, become a boss babe. You know I would love to have you join my community. It's all love over here on this side. And for all of my returning boss babes, I love you all so much. And I was really feeling very defeated and discouraged with Vlogmas and some of my 
avid, hardcore boss babes have been leaving me comments. You all are really just inspiring me and motivating me because I, sometimes like I forget who I'm actually making the content for, you know? It's, it's like, yes, blogging is therapeutic, but I think it's just I've had like a really, really, really rough past couple of days. And when I log into my YouTube and I see y'all's comments, I'm just like, I remember, you know, this is why I decided to do this, you know? I'm not even making a whole lot of money for my channel right now. Um, so I just feel like, you know, I am a new YouTuber, even though I've been on YouTube forever. But this whole journey and experience has been nothing short but amazing. It's really challenging me. It's making me be so creative. You know, I'm like a little mini Spike Lee. And there's so many other YouTube girls who really inspire me. And I'm just like, wow, you know, just cinematic masterpieces that these people are making on YouTube. And just challenging me to think outside the box. And I'm a very creative person, but it just makes me want to step my game up every day. And I'm just so grateful for this opportunity and just to be able to share my life with you all in long form content besides pictures and reels on Instagram. And I definitely want to grow my TikTok following. So you all go in the description box and follow me on the talk. I'm gonna start doing more on there, more beauty things, funny things, story times. So tell me in the comments what type of content you all would like to see on um, my TikTok. And yeah, I love you all. Good night.